Hey guys, how's it going? Dude, Rhino here with another video. This is a bonus Saturday video, so hello. This is Saturday, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. And what we're going to do is we're going to delve into the comments of my What Axe Can Save This Lineup video and do some more acts that can save this lineup, but specifically your acts, the acts that you guys want to see, the acts that you guys think would save the lineup. So let's just jump into those comments. Some cunt with a K says only JLS can save this lineup to be honest and you know what mate you're not wrong Stone Oasis says Catfish and the Bottle Men, Royal Blood, Cage the Elephant, MGMT, Mac DeMarco, Jack White, Queens of the Stone Age, the Libertines, Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes, Frank Turner, the Kill Slaves and of course the Kooks would save it for me. Someone else has commented on this MGMT good shout and then JJ Barker comes in with kooks a utter shit live, in my opinion. Johnny Davis says, I do think Noel Gallagher will come in with his high flying birds. Nick Wilde says, here is what we need. We need Biffy Clyro, Defavana, Don Broco, Royal Blood, Asking Alexandria, Enter Shikari, Arcane Roots, Frank Turner, The Amazons, The Exert, Straight Line, Mallory Knox, Young Guns, Yumi at Six, Everything Everything. They got that good song out. What's that? Is it Cough Cough? Good song. Milburn Trivium. Trivium. The Contortionists. Oh my god, there's more. It says read more. And then even though they wouldn't they would be headliners, would love to see a bit of Radiohead, Mastodon, or Tool. Runaways 14 says, for now we only have 25% of the lineup. It can still be awesome. Bring me the Horizon, Don Broco, and the Shikari editors. Neck Deep, Royal Blood, and others can all be added in the next announcements. Also, the thing with two main stages could become a reality. I don't believe they could release all three main headliners in February. It just never happens. It has to be more headliners when it comes with the second main stage. Also, my chemical romance is very suspicious that I see some regular activity on their Instagram and other accounts. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but maybe we will really get 2008 artists here in 2018. I really believe in it. Joe Baker says, I'd really love to see Joey Badass on that lineup. One, two, three, four, five, Zach Attack makes a comment on the genre change. He says they are targeting different groups at different times. Rap's the biggest genre worldwide at the moment and Reading have got the mainstream. Post Malone, Playboy, Carti, Kendrick, UK, Mist, Fredo, Getz, and Underground, Ski Mask, Suicide Boys, Brockhampton. They've also got more niche performers like Bicep or Nothing, Nowhere, which attract specific crowds. While they build up the main crowd and take time getting the more low-key audiences on board, they build off the controversy started by the more seasoned festival goers and announce more rock bands which could blow people away. I hope you're right, dude. I hope you're right. Someone has replied saying, it's Patrick, and he says, interesting theory. Sarah Eliza says, I'm chuffed about Panic. It's missed going to their concert, but the sheer amount of rap and grime is just, well, there are no words. I listened to a fan-made Reading 2018 playlist on Spotify today and was skipping most of the tracks. Patrick also says, I've had a loud trim. Thank you so much, Matt. I really appreciate it. I've got like a little bit of a spiral thing going at the front here. I don't know if I'm working it or not. Just let me know down in the comments if I'm not. I'll never do it again. Carl Crabtree says, really surprised to bring me the Rise Night headline. I must admit, once I was editing the video yesterday, I was like, how the fuck did I forget to mention Bring Me the Horizon? Leah Phillips says, I'd love Foster the People and the Hunter to go. Alex Barrett says, I'm spending the same as a Reading ticket to see Arctic Monkeys. Fuck my life. And he also says, also, I saw you at Breaking Benjamin last year at Reading, but was too scared to come and say hi. Listen guys, you see me this year at Redden, which you will, because I'm going to be there Wednesday to Monday. Don't give a shit about the lineup, yeah? Come say hi, I don't bite. I don't bite. JJ Buck says, only Jesus himself can save this lineup, and by Jesus, I mean Alex Turner. Lots of love for bringing me the horizon. Sam Ledgerwood says, I'd love to see the following in an ideal world. 30 seconds to Mars, Royal Blood, Thrice, Cigarettes After Sex, Paris, Moose Blood, Don Broco, Glass Jaw, Twin Atlantic says Jacob. Christy Wood says I love how fast the channel is growing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Raphael Mendez Brown says Franz Ferdinand. John Pham says his teeth are perfect. Never had a brace, guys. Bless. 
Hefty Allen says, get some narwhals or the computers or maybe some dead formats. Gaming One says, wouldn't mind the 1975 or Lord there, but props won't as they'd headline. If Lord went there, it just reinforces the whole thing that they're going mainstream for me. Robert Bain says, need Marmosets, the fame and milestones for me. Holly Irvin says, I personally don't think it's that bad. Yeah, but I'd really love to see Don Broker went to Shikari and Mama Zets up there. Catfish and Slaves would be good up there too. X Daniel Z99 says Enter Shikari neck deep and Biffy would be sick. And then he further edited it and said, Good Charlotte System breaking Benjamin would also be insane. Stefan, a lot of love for Frank Carter. Oh, we also got a uh, gamer freak said I don't like the lineup because I'm queer. So, um, so yeah, on that bombshell, yeah. I'm going to leave it there, guys, but obviously, you know, comment down below. This is a constant discussion and a very controversial one at the moment. What sort of acts do you want to see at Reading and Leeds Festival, yeah? Have you bought your ticket yet? Have you not bought your ticket? Were you going to buy your ticket and now you're not? What acts would get that ticket for you guys? Like the, some of the people have highlighted in the, in the comments there, we are only about 20-25% of the lineup at the minute. There's so much more to come. This is certainly a redeemable lineup, guys, yeah? So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. The growth has been insane, as someone pointed out in the, in the chat, and I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you so much to everyone that is subscribing, everyone that's watching, everyone that's commenting, everyone that's liking the videos. I really appreciate you guys. are fucking sick. You got a video on Monday, guys, 5 p.m., and then the web show on Wednesday, 8 p.m. We're just flipping up next week a little bit, but uh, we're back to normal the week after. But, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I've said it so many times now already. Like, share, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye for now.